Today, my friends, marks the beginning of the end for the enormous, terrifying, intrigue man himself, the bloodline blender, Elrong Falkahanda. A man who has gone far and wide collecting the many bloodlines of the elven houses to unite in our new dynasty. Now, I think today will be the final episode of, of, of his adventures. It's 132. We'll see if we change the characters every 70 years. So roughly uh, 140 years from the start date. So within the next eight years is when we're going to be swapping over our guy. Just about to be the turn of the millennium there, which is pretty fun. I mean, I doubt we'll get eight years done, but I don't want to play for like you know like seven years and then we we play for like 10 minutes of tomorrow's episode with this guy and then move on to a new character i like it to be a fresh site so i think we'll call it here for his adventures this will be the final episode of of this guy regardless of how we go because i think honestly his story is naturally coming to a close here it was a big struggle in the beginning he set up himself a new kingdom he's found his calling in this this bloodline building and sure we could attack france here and maybe we still uh, will attack france here that would be Quite a play, wouldn't it? That would be quite a play. Uh, Catholic rulers may join the war, including Count Gilbert III of Cambrai. I'll be honest, I'm not that concerned about Count Gilbert III. We could certainly take him. He's got 307 troops. He's only got 307 troops because, of course, he just lost an enormous war against Britannia, our kingdom. Tharthi Tharthi, sorry, our empire. Tharthi Tharthi's empire there. I think that, really, we should just manifest destiny and go for it right away, huh? So the other thing, uh, a lot of people pointed out that there is a sub-mod for uh, the Repark mod. That's the name of it. And a lot of people mentioned in the comments across Discord that there is, in fact, a, a Repark sub-mod for the more lifestyle sub-mod, too. So we've got things like uh, Courtly Elegance gives Court Grandeur bonus. This one gives Diplomacy. We've got Stewardship and Tax Harvesting giving extra taxes. Resilient Immune System. That's weird. Health boost. Under founder. That's fun. And then hereditary excellence, giving uh, a much higher chance of good and bad congenital traits. If you're trying to... Uh, if we end up playing as the character with the crazy bloodline blending project coming into fruition, that seems like it could be awesome. Unbelievably powerful. Anyway... So, uh, I'll, I'll, I've seen all the complaints kind of across, not necessarily complaints, but a lot of suggestions, a lot of people being hopeful in the comment section about going back to the portal idea, restoring the elven portal. That will be the plan for our next character, whoever that happens to be. Don't forget across the course of this episode to uh, come up with a suggestion for the new one, and I will uh, obviously defer to the comments on who we should end up playing next. Doesn't matter if they're landed or unlanded, I've got a fun idea for them, uh, including going on a little, a little journey across the world with our elven artifacts to... Uh, do something on behalf of Thartha Tharthi. I can't but notice he may have given away some chunks of the... What did you give away? Were those... Sorry, were they not other, like, like portal capacitors and things? Oh, dear. Well, we'll worry about that when the time comes, huh? That, to be fair, might be a pretty fun... Ah, there you go. Nariel Falkahander is going to marry our grandson, and they have the chance of inheriting that bloodline there. Beautiful. Thank you. So, with the last of this guy's life, we want to inv invade France here in a second, and then uh, finish off the bloodline thing, so we can pick a character. But with the next character, if we have to go around reuniting the artifacts, that'll be a fun start for them, and maybe we could always extend it. I'm, I'm sure we'll get it, everything done within that amount of, uh, within the 70 years we've got, right? Ritual of the Divine Sparks Blessing. Obviously, we can't go for Ascension. What is this, I wonder? 5,000 piety to give him some sort of blessing. Yes, let's do it. As you meditate, a familiar presence can be felt, and you know the divine spark has cast its gaze upon you. Once again, you see countless possibilities flash before your eyes, fading just as quickly, leaving a single idea in their shadow. Choose. Our rulers are perfect. May our forms be eternal. The firstborn heirs of rulers of this culture will be an exact genetic copy of their lord parent. Oh. Now, hold on. Firstborn heirs of rulers of this culture will always be an exact genetic copy of their lord parent. Okay. That, in theory, sounds very, very good, right? However, in a situation like what we've got going on right now where we want to breed out the bloodlines, we would have to set up some sort of heir designation system to allow that to work. Okay, or our grace shall ensnare lesser mortals. Characters of this culture will gain lustful after seducing two other rulers and passionate after seducing five other rulers. What is passionate? Uh, whoa. Intrigue plus four. Fertility plus 35%. The carnal desire burns hot in this character's core. Oh my lord. Unlocks the entrance personal scheme. Characters of this culture with the seducer lifestyle trait can evolve it into enchanter. 
Off to... Oh, my God. Oh, Enchanter and Enchantress. Yeah, of course. Wow. We've seen that trait before on one of the NPC characters, right? Oh, my God. And we give a blessing to the entire people. Endless Lord on the surface seems really good, but... I don't think it's necessary right now. I, I think this one is... Um, Oh, and what better final chapter in the story of the lustful man who got betrayed by a scorned lover than by cursing, let's call it a curse because it could be interpreted as that, cursing the entire elven race with his lust, his lust that he himself could never pursue, his unrequited lust. That is a beautiful story right there. Boom. Absolutely. We now have beguiling nature tradition. That's so good. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. He can stand there proud, watching as every other elf stumbles over themselves to enchant and, and pursue these lustful schemes and get themselves in all sorts of trouble and traps. And he can sit there, the only man immune to the thing that he has unleashed on his people. Wow. Really climbing for the top. Why would he do that? I, I like to think it was just uh, it was just him lashing out. He doesn't hate elven people. Quite the opposite. A lot of his friends are elves. But he is... I think, I think he's got a lot of pent-up aggression and rage towards the world at large. It was an elf, after all, that sliced off his cock and balls. Sorry, where were we? Yes, holy war for a kingdom. Forgetting about all that nonsense a second, we are going to get ourselves into a bit of piety debt here, so it's a good job I checked that first. This is going to be easy. This is going to be a very, very easy war, even without calling allies, which we're not going to bother doing because he's only got 300 men. We are just going to march on Paris. We are going to burn it down. And of course, most of Paris we've already converted over to our religion anyway, right? Sorry, did I say most of Paris? I meant most of France, but Paris especially. Grave news reaches me, literally. My wife, Valoria, has fallen ill with consumption. Do no more than what is necessary. He would never take that risk again. He remembers what happened last time. Elrong. My grandson and player heir. No more than necessary. We should set up designate... No, no, no. Maybe we don't want to set up designated heir. Because if we end up playing a Smeagalf and he gets put on a special mission by Thartha Tharthi, my plan for the next the next kind of chunk of this playthrough, maybe we don't want to do that. Hmm. Interesting. I'm still kind of tempted to break that patrol and marry him off to his uh, younger sister instead just to solidify that. What have we got going on here? There's, uh, she didn't get anything. If we had... Oh, also, also, sorry, I didn't see anyone mention this, but the fact that I've got a lady called Bildu Bildu as my architect is superb. <laughs> Total coincidence, but absolutely beautiful. Now, they've had a child. Bloodline of House Daloran. So it's quite possible we could get three bloodlines next generation. Okay, well, either way, we can start setting up some arranged marriages, and then if we do end up playing as that character, kill their army. Kill their entire army before we get into this war too much. There you go. Beautiful. 19% right off the bat there. That's what you like to see. Normandy have apparently fielded 2,000 men. Up. Oh. My goal is still the same. Is it the same? Because is she Aquitaine as well? No. It's just the previous heir of France was, what, deposed? Yeah, my war is still the same. Absolutely it is. She's got more troops, but I don't really care, care about that too much. I think all my council might be dying to illnesses as well. Ah. Uh, no, we don't really need a claim on France at this point, actually. Why have I lost all my war score? What happened? Where'd all my war score go? Because it, it changed ruler? Okay, well, fair enough. Um, yes, let's start doing some sieging. I don't need to lose any more troops. Ah, Marshal of Britannia. Well, that's a bizarre outcome, but we'll take it, I suppose. Wasn't really what I expected. Lunk became a brilliant strategist. Good for Lunk. Good for her. Smeagelf. Uh, what have you got going on then? 13. We are trying to turn him into a good diplomat. And my god, with 20 diplomacy, I could see it. Impatient, honest, or arbitrary. Honest? Does that give diplomacy? It does indeed. It lowers his intrigue, which is a bit dangerous. But let's keep going. Let's, let's let the boy cook 22 diplomacy before he's finished his education. It's already a thing of beauty. Um, sorry, what have you got going on here before we get too carried away with this war? No, merely decent. No, thank you. No, thank you. We're a little bit busy. Maybe we should call in some allies now. Things have uh, changed a little bit there. Is it worth spending the prestige? Have we got any big ones? Yeah, uh, Finnereth. Absolutely get in. Vania the Fox. Is she human or is she elf? She is elf. She's just hideous, like many other elves. Um, we'll call you in then. Theus Nor, the Prince of Fashion, apparently only has a few dudes. We'll call him Threk. Threk, a good, powerful elven name. And an ancient elven name, descending from the first generation of elves. Elagast! No! How could you do this to Elagast? If I have sinned, why did you not punish me instead? Oh, what happened? I was assassinated. Ah, how terribly suspicious. Well... 
This is going to be a big side effect, of course, of introducing that massive amount of intrigue and plotting to the culture via that tenet, right? It's it's probably going to encourage a lot more spy spying and evil plotting and all sorts of rivalries, especially when you think about their, uh, their potential uh, uh, seduction schemes going on there. Somebody said, make sure the council is in order. Do a lot of tidying up this episode. Make sure the council's in order, ready for us to swap character. The council's been in order for a long, long time. The council pretty much can't get much better. I mean, I'll sack you and swap you out. Uh, like, piss off Robbie, who's been a little enable servant for 100 years or so, to... Uh, <laughs> more like 50, but uh, to swap her out for someone who's any slightly better. We're not going to do that. Like, everybody's already pretty much the best we've had. Ooh, that's a lot of troops hanging around. Hello there. Um, a little bit concerned about that. Household soldiers. Interesting. Let's see if they divide up a little bit. My daughter, bodyguard and champion Seraphine, has had a child. Oh, okay, yeah, what? She's beautiful, genius, Amazonian. Great. Okay, that's 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 great, I suppose. Don't really care that much. They have split up. Why have they done a thing like that? Should we finish the siege? Not really so concerned about those people hanging around. Uh, sure. 30 gold well spent. There you are. And a new leadership perk. And we've just converted Paris itself. Sorry, I thought we'd already converted Paris. Maybe they flipped it back. Um, mesmerizing aura. Unity through diversity. Agile construction seems pretty good for this guy whose story we're going to be leaving. Obviously, his story will carry on after we're, after we're said and gone. Ooh, you have made a tremendous mistake there. Close in. There you go. While well, the army is totally battered. Today, you are taking... While well, talking with a visiting dignitary, I learned from him the men of Cathay prefer to clean their teeth with toothbrushes that have harder, harsher bristles. Brave people, those Chinese. Or oh, such stubbornness in their obsession to clean their teeth. Um, yeah, we'll call them brave because they brush their teeth. It's a very British mindset. We've moved away from there at this point, Elrong. Oh, Elven Hold constructed. Hello. Elven Hold? What do you mean, Elven Hold? Oh, oh, in, in the county, county, sorry, county of Andes, of course, the capital is, is Rohan. Very confusing. <laughs> I was wondering, what the hell? How was that flipped over? Sieging Paris is going to be a massive pain, uh, not only because of the smell, but unfortunately because they've apparently built quite a sizable uh, wall there. Sorry, we're just going to torture this person so we find out a scheme. What have we got going on there? We could start promoting a legend. And for a Tharthu Tharthi is legitimizing a legend about... Uh, elf blood? No. I'm all right, thank you. The supposed forces of Satan. In the uh, past few months, a town in Rennes suffered from quite a scare. Townspeople had heard strange, inhumane noises and thought that Satan was up to something. Imprison them. Ah. Uh, prison them. Yeah, we're arbitrary. Doesn't matter. Just throw them in prison, sort it out. Oh, Mia Philippe, you have escaped my. Prison. I don't really, I don't really mind if Mayor Philippe has escaped because, my friends, in five months Paris falls, and then it's all ours. It is absolutely ours. They have, they don't have the troops, they don't have the allies, they've got nothing. Their Catholic, supposed Catholic allies aren't coming in to save them. It all belongs to Elrong, and more importantly, we've stolen her stag hide. Beautiful. Um, yes, I will take everything. Thank you. Enforce demands. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> that looks a lot better, doesn't it? My god, what a mess we've made of the realm. Oh lord. Did we... Oh, we took everything personally. Well, that's quite nice. I was about to say... Um, I was about to say we're going to have to tidy that up. But, um, oh, Jesus. Who is the Duke of Anjou? Could you give me that, please? Tharthi Tharthi. I mean, we can... um, We can, of course, petition him to transfer a vassal, if I'm not mistaken. Well, let's have a look then. We've just inherited, I believe, the entire treasury of Francia, or at least some of it. Um, let's go and have a look at court artifacts, please, instead. Right, so we've got a lot of stag hides ready to hang up here, which is pretty appropriate for a man who does a lot of hunting. Uh -huh. There you go. Oh, did I take my renowned stag hide down? Whoops, my bad. Um, masterwork. There we are. Much better. Uh, and let's put that one over there. There you go. Beautiful. That one is about to fall apart. Sorry. Do I really care about that? How much is it? 38 gold. Good lord. What a money sink. Wow. This is... This is great. This is amazing. And then West Francia still technically, annoyingly, exist. Uh, cannot usurp the title because they're still fighting a war, even though her titles are in, what, Burgundy and Aquitaine? Pathetic. We'll, we'll, we'll usurp that later on, of course. She's kept all her artifacts because she's still landed, which is quite annoying. Um... Does she have champagne? I will be taking that one at some point. We need a lot more money. Does she have Orléans? Can't take that one either. Disabled buildings, lots, probably, because we've got uh, slightly too many titles. Demand payments, yes, absolutely do. Serene Doge, hold on to that one. Get rid of you. King Othon of Aquitaine now can't lay a finger on us. Not that he probably could before. We've gone from uh, a, a humble count to uh, 
a uh, a double king over the course of about 50 years. But we haven't been playing him that long. We overplayed Tharthathathi. Tharth. We're going to be underplaying this guy. Now I have the very fun task of tidying all this up. <laughs> <laughs> Please bear with me. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm simply going to take a duchy title and all of its attached holdings and counties, and I'm going to dish them out to members of our dynasty, okay? Uh, my realm, inside my realm, we're going to say, uh, well, basically anybody who can take it doesn't really matter too much. Um, dynasty, obviously, Falca, Hander. Oh? Sorry? All? What? What's happening? What do you mean there's no Falca Handers who can take land? Oh, because this is some sort of temple. Oh, Duchy of Burgundy wants me to give it to a temple. Ah, oh, yes. Hold on a second. Really? Only five valid candidates? How shocking. Arathorn is the only son that he has left. So you know what? You, my friend, get all of... This is going to take a little while, so obviously I'm not going to go over all of this. Uh, you can take all of these things, my beautiful boy. Why can't you take that? Oh, for God's sake. So one of these is ruining it for me, huh? All right, one second. Avaloir is getting right in my way. I can't give it out if we do that. Oh, for God's sake. Fine. Forget it. Yeah, take those. My ducal son. Um, we'll just grant that to whoever can hold it. There you are. You take that one, and then we'll just shuffle you under him. I'm just going to be doing this for the next 20 minutes. So why don't we just skip over it all? You understand how it works at this point. Malakil gets the Duchy of Neustria. Is that not Normandy? What do I know? Here you are, my friend. Enjoy. Elf Capone, the grandson this is, uh, gains the county of the Duchy of Berry. I've done what I can, but you almost won't believe this. Frustratingly, there isn't another unlanded male in my realm. If we say uh, your realm specifically, there are another unlanded men in court. The only unlanded men at all, forgetting adult a second, is Schmeagelf. We might end up playing a Schmeagelf next character. Oh, I could give him like a county and then we could go on a Vrangian adventure or something, but it doesn't seem right. So I'm a little bit stuck for who to give all this extra bloody land to. Um, are any of you expecting any children anytime soon? That'd be quite handy. They're all having daughters. So many daughters. A tremendous amount of daughters. They're already landed. You've got Paris? Where the fuck have you got Paris? What the hell? That's really annoying. So I was going to suggest we'll move our capital to Paris, build a new tribal holding in like Versailles or something, and then build an elven hold there. Best of both worlds. But... I definitely did not grant that to you, and if I did, it was a misclick at best. How have you got this? Why have you got this? Title history. Granted. I'm telling you, that's not the case. <laughs> I just don't know why that would have happened. Fuck. Oh, I must have misclicked it. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, no, wait. Did I do that intentionally? Hold on. Paris. Valois. No, I definitely did not. Oh, how frustrating. Oh, I see what's happened. Hold on. I see what's happened. I gave him the Duchy of Orléans. I must have misclicked and accidentally clicked on Paris too. We can revoke that, okay? We'll revoke it at some point. That's very annoying, very, very frustrating. Doesn't really matter too much. Now we have to attempt, at the very least, to assert some titles. No money for that one, and no money for that one. Oh, for God's sake. Just, ki just kill them. Duke of what? For God's sake, can I just go to war for that? Ah, uh, that's so annoying. It's it spend 500 gold or just wait it out. I guess we'll just be patient. I guess we'll just hold on. Is it possible we could just hold these until I can tidy the domain up? If we do that, 13 out of 10. No, not quite. I just haven't got anyone else to give this stuff to. I'm going to have to say not Falca Handers. It, it, it upsets me to say it, but we just have to be careful make sure we're actually giving it to elves. That's the very, very important part. The problem is I don't think there are any elf Falca Handers. I can grant it to you. Can I? Why? What's special about this lady? That she can... She's our elder and advisor. Okay, well, I mean, okay, sure. Um, here, you can have, like, um, those three. How about that? There you go. Boom. I don't know why I can... Oh, because it was a bloody temple. Ah, that makes sense. High Priestess. Yeah, that's all right. There you go. That's a nice gift for you. And I can't revert the title because he's married uh, to Countess Nariel, my granddaughter. <laughs> that's so fucking annoying. Oh, my God. Oh, what a mistake. What a mistake. What does that say? A, cu a curse? A cursed? It is very accursed, but I mean, that's just France for you. Here, fine. You know what? We're sticking with Brittany then. I'm, I fucked up, okay? You're now a dub double duke. Enjoy. Take that. I'm sure that will cause absolutely no problems. When he dies, it'll all split anyway. So if he dies soon, that would be quite helpful. If he dies soon, that would be quite helpful. Just kill him. Just, just kill him. No, I would never raise a blade against a fellow elf. Right, let's have a quick chat with the Sorindos. See if we can negotiate... 
the trade agreement. Apparently, we're not allowed to negotiate trade agreements while we have consumption. I didn't realize we were going personally, but okay, fair enough. We'll hang around. So we've just been called to another bloody war. What's going on in Anju? Could I have that? Could you just, like, grant that to me so I can sort it out? Whatever. It's a total mess, okay? Um, we need to get down to absolute control pretty fast. So we might want to, in fact, even flip over to Marshall. I mean, he is the Marshal of Britannia? Sure. Authority focus. There you go. Otherwise, this is going to take a, a lifetime, two lifetimes, to bring France under control. So to save us a bit of cash, I'm going to see if we can get rid of her, kill her dead, maybe even try and abduct scheme to, I don't know, just find a way that we can declare war on her again. Take the last of her bloody titles. Yeah, we can't do another Holy War for Kingdom. I didn't think we could. Um, we could do Holy War for Duchy. Take Bourbon. That's, that's fine. That could work. And then that's two titles. Then we just kill the next one in line or abduct them or do, do something. We can figure it out. Abduct this kid. Get this kid in prison, please. Interesting. So we do have another prowess lifestyle perk here. Border guards? Gives control growth very appropriately. We might actually be able to, to take back control before we swap this guy over. Because I would absolutely hate... I would, I would consider that a failure if we jumped away to a different character and went on some adventure on the other side of the world. And then this guy lost everything. Like, Tharthi Tharthi has done beautifully. Oh my god, he looks so old. Oh my god, and what happened to his face? What have you done to my man? His health is fine. It's okay. Frozen grief. Oh my god, from Julia Melwood dying. He's a drunkard. He has cancer. Boss, I have a cancer and he's also wounded. Oh. My poor boy. I can't do anything to, to help him. Demand artifact. No, I would never demand, uh, demand artifact. I would never. How dare you? He has done. Here we go. So how did you come out then? That's a beautiful hat. If that's any indication of how his education's come out, I think we're in safe hands. Even as a child, Smeagolf always had a way with words. It's therefore unsurprising he's taken to, well to the study of diplomatic relations. A true silver tongue. He could sway the opinions of counts and kings alike when he speaks to the court, listens in enraptured silence. Queen Valoria's contribution towards Smeagolf's education cannot go unnoticed. Her lessons have given Smeagolf valuable knowledge, so he became a grey eminence. 28 diplomacy. What? 34 diplomacy. What am I going to do with a boy with 34 diplomacy? I'm not entirely sure. Um, they should be able to get married now, correct? Betrothed can marry. You can create the kingdom of West France. Can I? Oh, it got destroyed. That's unfortunate. Boom. Thank you. Make primary. You know what? No. No, I like Brittany being our primary title. I'm sure I'll flip it over when we swap character away anyway. I like the idea that we're not having Paris as our capital. Instead, it's some random elven hold in the middle of Brittany to celebrate our kind of original landing site. I like that. I think it's all quite good. I think it's all nice and above board. So that means we should be able to get some free wars in here. Listen here, you little prick. Give me my bloody titles. We're going to lose a lot of pre uh, levels of piety here, I'm afraid, but it's a necessary evil, okay? We haven't got the time to be building up piety or anything like that. So holy war for duchy. Yes, please. I know. I know. Penalty, penalty, penalty. You'll be fine. And let's just get in there. This will take all about two seconds. Ah! The reign of the Carling dynasty has come to an end. The kingdom of West Francia has slipped from their grasp. With the Carlings removed, these lands are no longer a part of their old empire. With Mia's future king, we have a bright and new destiny ahead of us. Therefore, it's only fitting to remove any and all reminders of their influence, including the very name itself. Instead of Francia, it is now France. Sadly. There we are. Beautiful. Uh, right, so Duke Waldo has apparently just joined the war there. Sadly, he's never going to be found. Count Melisander is... Oh, Count... Wait, this is the previous Queen of France. We don't need to kill her. I mean, I will for a laugh. Cheers, Countess Melisander. Ah, beautiful. Perfect. Meredith under siege. Oh, we still have that, don't we? That's interesting. Level of splendor increased. Oh, my God. We're up to significant. That's pretty all right, actually. That's, pr that's not bad at all to say that we've done that over two generations. I use the term generation very, 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 very flexibly there. I've decided to make Alandar your vassal. Thank you. Was that an Anju? No? Who was Alandar? I probably should have checked. <laughs> I just assumed. Ah. Oh. Hello. Word of recent developments on the Iberian Peninsula has reached our court, promising an end to the conflicts that have plagued the region. Emperor Fruella has uh, officially renounced any intentions to unite the peninsula and declared any who would try the title illegitimate. Oh. So she's given up on the Reconquista. So it just all becomes independent kingdoms now. There is no united Spain. Wowee, what a mess. Okay, it's just Castile and Al-Andalus now. Okay, well, you live your life, I suppose. 
Wait, Emperor Thartha Thartha to Calibor and King Arthon of Aquitaine. These two are going to sweep through Europe like a plague. Soon he will be at my mercy. Sure. Unsurprisingly, we did not kidnap that now landed child. I'm just going to forget about it because we haven't got any we haven't got any quarrel with that child anyway. I think we need to move away quite. And again, I've got a plan for that. Move quite far away from Europe with our next character so that we can not get messed up in all of this stuff. Hey, uh, listen, maybe if we could lose the trade consumption, I'll do all the stuff I wanted to do before we wrap things up here. Beautiful. Right. That has helped tremendously. Now let's go ahead and drop that. Because now we can just create the titles rather than usurping them, which I think still costs a small fortune. So it really didn't help out that much when you think about it. But that's okay. Right, what do we need to make? Champagne. Oh, it's only 75 gold. Actually, no, that was big brain time. Um, who's my ruler here? My son. My grandson and great-grandson. Very confusing. Champagne is yours. And then what else have we got to reform here? What's this one count as? This one is uh, actually part of Burgundy. Okay, fair enough. And then it was... This one's already fine. A Cursedeed. I don't know why it's called that. A Cursedeed. The Cursedeed Duchy. Named it after himself. As if it was almost like, um, that's like the Islamic naming scheme, isn't it? How bizarre. I don't know why it's done that. Doesn't really matter too much. What's that other Duchy tile I can make? Duchy of Orleans. There you go. Okay. Yep. Boom. Not that we need that because, of course, we've accidentally landed this guy's a... Oops. Cancel that. Accidentally landed this guy's a double duke. Doesn't really matter too much. Doesn't really matter. They're all loyal. They're all very good friends. They all love one another. They're all going to live for years, so it doesn't really matter. Heart of the family. Close family opinion plus 15. Wouldn't that be very helpful after you just landed all your close family? That would be very helpful indeed. <laughs> and hilariously, we're almost just kind of trapped like this, potentially now for a long, long time. Because until consumption moves, we can't do any sort of personal event or personal scheme. We can't, you know, negotiate that trade contract. We can't have a feast. We can't go on a hunt. We are just stuck. Totally stuck. So I'm just going to let some time pass. Let the dust settle, so to speak. And of course, by that, I mean promote our culture, convert people over, let the control tick up. And they've already converted the, the, the bayou there. That's very nice. Let's go down to Orléans. I've decided to make Duke Alandar the second manager your vassal. Correct, you have. That is quite the round we've built from a, a humble count with a single tribal holding in Wales all the way to the king of France as he styled himself. Not quite all of France. Maybe like a third of France. Oh my god. Well, I didn't realize he grabbed all of that. What the fuck? My cousin. My cousin. Godless villain. Neighboring fellow vassal, but he is an elf. Oh my god, he's grabbed... Look at him go! <laughs> Father Tharthi! Are we still at war with Aquitaine? Oh, that was what he grabbed from Aquitaine. For some reason, Aquitaine are in Denmark. They're running away from the elves. Is it too late for caution? Is he going to trust? Oh, let's do it. We lost consumption. Oh, thank god. That was a gamble more for my uh, personal t taking than his. Might accept. Brother, I'm using a hook. Trade agreement accepted. There you go. I didn't even check what stats we got from that. Actually, I should have had a look. Um, I was going to say trade agreement with the following ruler. He gets 8%. We get... Uh, trade agreement with the following ruler. Oh, we get 8% as well. That's pretty good. That's all right. I don't know why he wouldn't have said yes to that. Legend was added to your library. The Holy Blood. Mythical. Look at that. Monthly renown, 20%. Bloody hell. This is insane. Is that, and that, that's all going into the capital, correct? Jesus. Well, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's really that's really nice. That one's actually really good. Somebody pointed out that the reason we're getting so many legacies is because, of course, our renown is going to be off the charts with this many. Can you see dynasties? Is there a dynasty map mode in this? There is in CK2. Houses. I mean, with this many, uh, and I presume we can still control click to break up this as well. Uh, does that does that work? You can't for some reason? Okay, that's annoying. Um, uh, normally in CK2, right, you can control click on counties to uh, uh, break it down, and then you can see the, the kind of subdivisions of that, uh, of the houses like below that. For some reason, it does not work on this one. That's annoying. All right. Um, anyway, yeah, it's, it's all, it does, I don't know why I'm even bothering to try and check anyway, because of course it's going to be 99% Falka Handa, right, from top to bottom, with all of these people building up all of our renown, all contributing to their re renown in their own way. Did he land people in Ireland? Yeah, Falka Handa, Falka Handa, Falka Handa. Fal Ireland is entirely that. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the entirety of Britain is as well. The only exception. Oh no, hold on. 
Bursi's descendants were ousted. That's Falcahanda 2. It's ridiculous. So our renown is just going to be off the charts. It's just going to absolutely explode. And the fact that they've actually been actively favoring their own descendants too is awesome. Thassasathius declared war king. King what? Sorry. King Emo. Hello. How are you doing? Um, King only in name because he's only got one county? Hello, Lotharangia. Oh, we, we, we keep going east then, so we'll probably form the Kingdom of Lotharangia. Wouldn't be surprised if he goes for Aquitaine again. In fact, we could speed things up a little bit. We could help him out. King killed King Arthon. This is insane. We really do need to move away with the next character, don't we? Create a new mana arms regiment. You don't say, this is the type of thing I've got to make sure is all ready to go before we swap character. We can get our mana arms now up to eight, which we'll absolutely be doing. Um, station doesn't really matter. Station in Brest. <laughs> a new martial lifestyle perk. If we can just get absolute control. Just get absolute control before we head out here. That would be that would be a thing of beauty, but I think we're running out of time here, I'm afraid. Daughter returns. Daughter returns? Whoa, whoa, whoa. is that the one I wanted to marry off? Like, what's happening with that? How old is Lunk? 21. Betrothed. Why can't I marry them? Why can't I marry them? She's in a separate court. I just, they just won't get married. Hmm, I don't know what's going on with that. Any suggestions, comment section? I'm a little bit late now. 18. He's 18. They just won't marry. Shall I break the betrothal? I feel like I haven't got a fucking choice. Okay. Um, range marriage between, uh, Count, Count Schmigalf. No, he got landed. Oh, that's really annoying. Um, well, I was going to arrange marriage between you and, no, no, I want to arrange a betrothal if possible. Am I even allowed to do that? Hold on, let's go ahead and reset to defaults. Bollocks. Turn that off, please. Oh, no. Um, I wanted to betroth him, of course, to his younger sister. Oh, uh, why are you landed? Why are you landed? That's so annoying. You may have ruined everything here. I wanted to marry him to Thrandall. She's old enough now that we can maybe just... Yeah, we can just marry them. That's good. That's good. That's good. Look, and guaranteed. They will get inherited. That's what we need. Beautiful. If I can marry someone, for God's sake... Apparently, he doesn't want to marry the other one that he was arranged to marry. I just don't know what's happened with that. It's just stuck permanently betrothed. How odd. Ugh, okay, that's all right then, I suppose. It doesn't really matter too much. The important one happened, so that's what matters. Um, yeah, master of logistics for supply capacity. Sure. How long have we got? What's my time limit? We've got three years. Obviously, I wanted to have the grand wedding. Uh, not possible anymore because that betrothal is just simply not going through. Is that why? Did I click... Bra is that why they're still betrothed? Hold on. Maybe I've, I've figured it out. <laughs> nah, no, nope, apparently not. You need to propose to grand wedding. Okay, I don't, I'm, all out, I'm all out of ideas then. That's why We'll just have a feast and pretend it's a grand wedding, huh? A feast to celebrate our glorious victory in France. Um, it gives a discount, but other than that, it doesn't matter. We don't need a discount when we've got all this lovely money. Duke of... Uh, uh, sorry, a guest of honor is going to be the Duke of... Oh, Lord. I mean... Wow, this is bad, isn't it? Um, here, El El Eldrion, because we're not best friends. You can be there, my friend, and then we'll try and befriend someone else, speaking of which. Uh, Eldrion, yes, absolutely. Kill two birds with one stone. Keep the ram nice and stable for when we step away. Ooh, damn. Arthorn survived the viper's bite. Though the snake attacked, a physician was quickly uh, called and managed to stop the venom from spreading. Disastrously, oh my god, he called us his nemesis. Disastrously, the servant who planted the snake was found and my involvement was revealed shortly afterwards. Oh, that's cool, though. I've set him up a fun story for when we step away. I like that. Just like Bercy. Challenge into a fight? I mean, we'll give it a go. See what he says. He refused the challenge, so we cost him some prestige there. What else can we do to him? We've got a hook on him that apparently is going to expire soon. Demand a hostage? Uh, sure? You do not have a hook on King Othon. Your hook on your nemesis, King Arthon, will soon expire. Oh, it's a strong hook on cooldown. Right, there you go. Okay, fair enough. Uh, sadly, can be used again. Okay, but it is also going to expire soon. Fair enough. So we can't do anything with that. That's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping we could do something fun there to set up that rivalry even further. But no, no, no luck. Hey, and there we are. Immediately, Duke Eldrion becomes his friend. Thaldi is having a great time by the looks of it. And speaking of which, who is this idiot? Baron Galandor, you're getting a bit ahead of yourself, Baron Galandor. Who's on the guest list? Let's have a look here. Thaldar, Eldrion, Tharthathathi the second, Tharthathathi the first did not turn up, rather sadly. Guess he's busy uh, conquering the entire world. One guest with every trait in common with you gains 20 opinion of you. Let's go for that one. That will probably solidify this round for a lifetime. 
That's that's now set up forever. A toast to Duke Eldrion. Sure. And with that, it's done. We gain great banquet for five years. What does that do again? Development growth or something? Yeah, 20% development growth. Beautiful. And you know what? Two years remaining. Is there much else we need to do here? Let's go into full tidy up mode. Potential alliance negotiations, totally irrelevant. You could declare war on like Aquitaine, which again, I'm, I'm happy to leave in his control. Uh, speaking of control, how are we looking on county control? We've redeemed it pretty bloody fast. It's flipped over pretty damn quick, hasn't it? Not bad at all. Really not bad at all. And again, if we could get up to absolute control just before we bow out, that would be awesome. Uh, I mean, building up his armies a little bit more probably couldn't hurt. Just giving him a bit more a bit more levy size. I don't know if the AI would be so quick to spend as much prestige on this as I am. So we're going on another quick hunt here just to build up a bit of prestige. What are we going for? Um, oh, who wants to be a master of the hunt? Valoria. Queen Valoria. Beautiful. I like that. 80% success chance. We've gone to an area where there was just some... Oh, Countess Elowin was, I presume, killed? Drowned. Oh, dear. Well, that's unfortunate. We seek the row. There was row spotted. Um, but the wolf is a bit more impressive. Let's go for the wolf then. It has dropped our success chance significantly. But, talk later, Grandson. Sorry, we're a little bit busy. He loves the hunt. After it, we ride. Go. Yeah, we're back to the highest success chance. I almost have you. And, finally, a successful hunt. Oh, well, not necessarily yet. Hang on a second. Bring it down myself. He may die. Could you imagine if he'd have died right then? What a fucking story that would have made. Beautiful. He's done it. He lives to fight another day. Was Thartha Tharthi there? No. What's that what's got to do with him? Why is he there? Piss off. Uh, my grandfather will appreciate the trophy. Absolutely not. <laughs> he's got enough trophies, and he squandered the ones I got him before. You get nothing. Actually, after hanging up that beautiful feral wolf hide we just got there from our hunt. It was night effect, and his grand bonuses. Speaking of grand bonus, we should probably go all in on building up his very grandiose court, huh? Beautiful. There you are. You can definitely afford it right now. High fashion, good food, grand lodgings. Grand lodgings means, of course, you can invite people to court a little bit more sensibly. Uh, we'll keep administrative right now, and obviously we'll never move away from High Elven. How dare you? Sorry, did that say High Elven was the most spoken language? I suppose that would make some sense, given there would be lots of separate, lots of much more splintered dialects in the medieval era, right? Um, what did that say? Sorry, how do, I, how do I go back to that? Royal Court. Show me again. I was going to change this one. Oh, Grandest Royal Court. Yes, the Empire of Britannia. You're absolutely right it is. Beautiful. Okay. We can hold the final courts of Brittany. Hello. It's been a while since I've arrived in your court. I've carefully observed how you rule and address around matters, both small and grandiose, and I'm nothing but deeply impressed. Among the Mercians, what do you mean Mercians? You're next door. There's a tale of a legendary ruler from a distinguished dynasty. You're part of the same dynasty. Who is this? Is it... It just says a foreign... Oh, it's you? You're my dynasty, you weirdo. You've quite literally got consecrated blood. Yes, your elders spoke about the Falca Hander. It was my grandfather who was the first one. We both know him. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, Arathorn has a problem. There's thieves. Uh, absolutely. Here's some money to s deal with the thieves. Ironic. And Mayor Orandor. Uh, the dogs of Coburg think they're better than us. Mayor, uh, uh, you know what? Settle this with action. They both fight. There you go. Satellite problem solved. And that, my friend, I think is that. Should we start him a legend too? Should we start him a legend? That'd be fun. It's about time he had his own legend. And then I think that is all there is left for me to do. And that's it. 139 years since game start. We could take it up to 140, I suppose. Just, just kind of see if anything else massively important happens this time. Oh, there was something massive. Astronomers around the world have reported a fascinating, unprecedented anomaly. An appearance of the new star in the sky. It's bright, even more than Venus, which is normally the brightest celestial body after the sun and moon. In fact, ordinary people have reported seeing it during the day, too. Many are debating whether this unusual star is a minor, if odd, phenomenon, or an event of great importance. Shall we sponsor or not astronomers to record some observations on it? It's a supernova. Ah, appeared in 1006, and is the brightest observed stellar event recorded in history. Pray that it's a good omen. Truly a wondrous sight. No, no, no. Let's pay some people there. You get an account of the 1006 supernova artifact. And speaking of 1006, our final year. Yes, thank you. <laughs> our final year is right there on the dot. 140 years since game start. And this, my friends, is the final day of King Alrong. Is there anything we need to do? Luckily, 
Ah, oh, well, that's unfortunate. We almost got it to absolute control. Very, very close to absolute control, but rules are rules. We're not going to unpause it from here on out. Is there anything we can do while the realm is a duchy, but we can't afford it? I think that's probably it. I think, to be honest, we built a pretty good realm. To come from a, a, a downtrodden, beaten back guy from a single tribal, undeveloped tribal county in Wales, we've become a double king, the king of Brittany and the king of France. He's built up an enormous dynasty. He built up an enormous amount of prestige and an enormous amount of piety as well to say that we weren't really pursuing it too hard in the early game. Good amount of wars. And overall, a, a pretty decent story, I think, for this guy. Was he a Tharthi Tharthi? No. I, is anyone going to stand up to that, really? But he certainly left his mark. The, the the high point, or maybe the lowest point for him, of course, was, I think, the incredible poetry that came from him becoming a unit. But, of course, he has left his mark on overall elven culture by adding in that beguiling nature tradition. So, then, next time we play, we will be playing as a new character, and the plan is very much for Angian Adventure to somewhere where we want to build the portal to Elven Ram. So, I don't really know. If anyone's got any suggestions, I'm all ears. Where was the original Elven portal? It was, I think it was like up here, right? Or, so, or something like that. I've forgotten where it was specifically. Was it was it Feywood? I think it was called. It doesn't really matter too much. Valorith, hello. We've got Deepwood there. It was somewhere somewhere in Siberia, as I recall. Um, oh, it was probably like this one. Doesn't matter. Anyway, um, it was somewhere in Siberia. We could always go back to where that original portal site was, or we could find somewhere and move the portal down, right? There was an option for that. We could go for somewhere a bit more, a bit more central to the entire world. To be fair, the most central point of the entire world is going to be what? Somewhere like around here? Go to somewhere like around the Black Sea. That's why I was looking at, say, maybe like an island somewhere around Byzantium. I mean, shit. Constantinople would be awesome, but a very, very difficult grab. It's got to be somewhere where we want to open the portal. Hmm. I'm open to suggestions. Anyway, the obvious one would be awesome. We set up in Giza and we build uh, an interdimensional portal right next to the pyramids. That would just be... Uh, it would be insane. That would be amazing. And to be fair, it's an independent duchy too, so we could legitimately Varangian adventure that. So you tell me what you think, and we will dive in tomorrow. And we'll see what we can do. That's a great name for a kingdom, huh? We'll see what we can do. And don't forget to choose a character as well. I, I think that, I think a cool one would, of course, be Shmigelf, a man uniting many elven bloodlines. A child, of course, has... Elven, all the Elven Bloodlines, Genius, Herculean, Beautiful, Sally has consumption, but will be absolutely fine, let's be honest. We go from there? Who knows? All I will say is thank you for joining Elrong. The first two of what I hope will be many, many characters moving through this world and slowly turning into... This could be the world domination series people have already asked for since the very first day of Crusader Kings 2 that I did on, on, on this channel. This could be the world domination. It's in such a way that's actually appealing to me. I don't find map painting particularly fun, but the AI is going to paint the map for me, and my god, that seems pretty fun, eh? He makes Tharthi Tharthi look on the shorter side, but they're both absolutely enormous, and more importantly absolutely terrifying what a story thank you to the executive producer patrons for allowing this particular series to exist in the first place of course as always go and like and favorite and play along with the elven destiny mod over on steam leave your comments and well wishes and everything else for uh, a very entertaining tremendously well focused mod Thank you, of course, to the developer, and a thank you to the executive producer patrons who give me the, good lord, so much time I need every day to produce so much content. Thank you to Chax, Tristan Flanagan, Aromatic Fool, Matthew Capon, Hoopy, Jonathan Cameron, Jeb, Frozen Jesus, Biblically Accurate Femboy, That Catto, Mr. Streamer Man said get a cat, Hallie, an apple in solitude, Archbishop, Coyote Seattle, Grand K, Sayad or Sayath, Sydney, a tubes, bling, magica, cow, three, four, five, grand mask, Vladislav Lazarov, Yeetmore Jones, JQ Fish, and Sao Chung Tai for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you, much obliged, and I appreciate your great support and help. And a thank you to Puka Boy, Wild Quill, Ichigo Nads, Salakata, Robber Robbie, Kathleen Boyer, Citatus Lingua, Adam Ski, XD, Jackson, Loxrus, Tubasa. Elkel, Llama Lords, Dr. Luden, and Evan Stockdale, additionally. And I shall see you all tomorrow. 
for a new chapter in our elven conquest.